Hello, hello, and welcome back to Tom's Talks. And today I'm going to be uh, going to be doing a comparison video between two Louis Vuitton Slender wallets. So stay tuned for this video. So how have you all been? It's been a moment since my last video. I wanted to quickly do a comparison between these two wallets, the Slender wallets. Uh, we've both got as the Ebian Rather in black, and then the Damier Abin Canvas wallet. Uh, Obviously, this one you've seen before, hopefully you've seen both if you watched, if not, go back in my other videos, you'll see them. Uh, this particular one I got hot stamped, and I can quickly go through the two wallets. The main thing I want to kind of show you is, obviously, what they are, and then what I'll touch on is the price difference between them. So we'll start off with the cheaper one, which is the Damier Abin, or Abin Canvas. And this is a kind of classic brown and dark brown checkered canvas pattern that you can see you get it across a whole range of products from the uh, handbags and you get your, uh, what do you call it, toiletry bags and all different kind of things like that. Uh, it's very well known, it's almost as known as the monogram canvas that you see everywhere and you can actually get this quite often. Uh, I've seen it counterfeit as well actually, so it's kind of well, it's probably one of the best, second best or third best Louis Vuitton known canvas prints. And the canvas is a lot quite flexible. I've had this just over two years. Uh, I've got another video about a specific review just on this. But I use it pretty much every day. As you can see, I've got all my cards in there. Uh, from your British Airways to your <laughs> national insurance to your bank cards. A little bit of room in there for all your receipts and uh, well, money if you can be out of the house. But isolation, we're not. And as you can see, it's pretty held up over the structure. Uh, I'd say I use this about 300 and... 50 days out of the 365 a year. Uh, in the past two years I've used that pretty much every day. Uh, it's been all over. I've been down from work trips and in my pocket all the time. Uh, I do worry sometimes it's going to get bent. It's not perfectly straight with the amount of cards and that in there. But overall you can see the quality of the product and you do pay for what you get. Uh, if you've ever bought a counterfeit Louis Vuitton sometimes they split quite quickly or they free. Uh, I can say, say with confidence, touch wood, that this is held together, or it's got all the kind of lining and the edging hasn't started fraying or anything, and there's only a very little splitting at the top right here, uh, just right there. But apart from that, over two and a half years of constant use, it's pretty held up pretty well. Uh, in comparison, this is the Ebbe Leather, and it's in black as you can see, same style slender wallet. But at the back, because it's a lot softer, uh, if I start off at the back, you can kind of see it's got like a little dent there. I'll kind of zoom in and I'll show you some overlay shots of a little kind of mark in the back that just, that even though there's nothing in there now, it won't really go back in. I've tried our best to get it back in and soft. So that's a shame. And also it's kind of starting to go dog-eared at the top. If you put them side by side, you can see the canvas one has held its shape. It's a lot more square up here. Whereas the bin uh, rather, it's because it's softer at the edges, it's just not got the same structure in it and it just kind of flops around. So that's a little bit of a shame, but if you are looking at getting one of these and you're worried about that, maybe just jump for the canvas just because it's a little bit more uh, kind of textured and uh, I did find it a lot more robust. Uh, I don't know why, and this has only had this a few months maybe, uh, and it's only been used a handful of times, whereas I use this. As I said, pretty much every day, and you can see the difference in two years versus, say, a few months. And the kind of overall quality, it's still high, but the overall kind of appearance, you'd think that's <laughs> the 10 years old or being mulled to death or something like that, just because of the condition of it, but it's just due to the material. So, uh, also, if you look at them straight away as well, as the black one's a lot more subtle. It's only got a small LV. Uh, embossed at the bottom, or bottom left here, uh, you'll be your right in the camera, and that's going to be you know, so quite like how you can just have that kind of discreet and nobody really knows, and it's just kind of like a nice quality piece to have. Whereas this LV one is a little bit more screaming LV, people might notice. Uh, it wasn't as bad, I didn't really fancy the one with the LV monogram screaming in your face. Uh, yeah, I, just, I did notice on the website you can get some monogram eclipse, which would be pretty awesome because it's probably my favourite patterns, but I digress, if we open it up, this one's got the Made in France in silver, and if we open this one up, it says Made in France, however it's in a dark red, so it's a wee bit harder to see, 
but I have got it hot stamped there with my initials. This one I'm just going to, if it's going to be left, it could get hot stamped there as well if you want, and you could have your initials or you could have the Scottish thistle in there or something if you wanted. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to jump down was the price. So the Damier Ebin, or Ebin canvas is £290 as of April 2020, and the Slender Wall Epi Leather is £340 as of April 2020 in the UK. So there's about a £50 difference just for material quality. Uh, if you wanted something subtle and kind of for work and you just wanted a nice quality piece, yes, go for it. But if you're wanting something that's going to be hard wearing, you're going to keep it for a couple of years, maybe you're dipping your toes into Louis Vuitton as well. £50 is quite a lot of money for basically the same product, uh, just as a different material. And I would say go for the canvas if you're new to luxury goods, if you're new to Louis Vuitton. Or if you're wanting something to have longevity and last, say, 10 years, uh, I feel like this won't last 10 years if I use it every day. <laughs> Whereas this, as I said, this is all the two years, two and a half years down the line. And easily I could see it another going another two and a half years of constant use before it might need to go into part-time use. Uh, again, it's getting dog eared quite quickly. That's holding its structure. So that's the main thing I wanted to point out uh, and just do this comparison video. Overall they hold the same eight cards at the exact same size. Uh, they're just eight and a half centimetres by eleven centimetres. They're both pretty much the same. The website says they're the same and when I measured them up side by side, it's quite hard to see, but yeah, they're like a fine millimetres of each other. Uh, weirdly, however, I think that the black one seems to be that little couple of mil longer in terms of this length. It just seems to be a fraction. It's maybe hard to see on camera, but apart from that, when I hold it side by side, I did notice this earlier run. There doesn't seem to be the exact piece, but that could be just this particular one it's made of. Uh, but anyway, but the digress, totally irrelevant <laughs> if it's a millimetre or two out. Uh, so round up, if you want a subtle piece for work, go for the black one. But if you're wanting something to long last and get start your Louis Vuitton collection, go for a canvas, there's a wide range, monogram eclipse, standard monogram, etc. Head up your toes into it. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my video on the comparison between these two bad boys. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to Thomas Talks below, and check out my Instagram at Thomas Dobie. I'll leave that underneath. If you do feel inclined and you want to follow me on Snapchat, Tom Bentley, 94 as well. So thanks very much for watching. Ciao.